lot of time it's it's a passion, it's a need to do it. I, it, I can't really explain it. It's more something I feel than something I think about doing. I like to get outside the box and really find what, what's gonna inspire me and what's gonna challenge me, what's gonna push me to the next level. It's uninteresting if you keep doing the same thing over and over again. I've been painting for approximately five years. I was a social worker for about 15 years, but one day I just said to myself, I want more. I want to really have fun and be passionate about the career I have. And I just said to myself, well, I'm going to quit my job and paint full time. And then it was like, the difference between night and day. Like I had been through a dark time and the, the sun was coming up and it was morning again and I was happy and I just feel amazing. I would describe my style as an outsider, outside the norm, outside the box. I put a little bit of everything in my art, thoughts and ideas and dreams and all kinds of cultures. I tend to use all the colors of the rainbow as well. I don't really have a technique in picking them, but I want them all represented. A lot of times, I don't know what the end result is gonna be. It's often like that saying, you come up with a plan and God laughs. A lot of times, I have this idea in my head and I go to the canvas and I go to paint it, but when I, when I move away from the painting and it's done, it's something totally different. But it's still part of who I am. It's still part of what I am as a person, what I am as, a, as an artist. My family was very diverse and it really influences my art in every piece that I do today. I'm biracial. I am half black and half white. I'm adopted and had a very multicultural situation in my home because all the kids were adopted except for one. My youngest brother, Nicholas, was my mother and father's biological child. My middle brother, David, was Korean, and my sister was also biracial, half black, half white. We were brought up also in a, a small town in a rural area, so. I was one of the only men of color in my high school. It was very different growing up and not having other kids that were minorities to relate to. A lot of times I felt like I was walking that line, like that fence that I was kind of balancing between the black culture and the white culture. So when I became an artist, it was easy. It wasn't like, oh wow, I gotta pick between two. No, I can just be an artist and that's okay. And I love being an artist because it's exactly who I am inside and out. When I paint, I feel free, absolutely free. It's a peacefulness that every noise on the outside is gone, it's quieted, and you only exist with what you're creating. It's just so meditative that it's like diving into the ocean. 
and not coming up for a very long time. It's an extremely positive experience. Uh, when I finish a piece, sometimes I feel like it's a piece of crap, if I can say crap. Um, I, I really am hard on myself sometimes, but then it's like I said with, with the saying, you, you think one thing and God just laughs. He laughs and says, oh no, no, you, you're mistaken. This is something that is very unique and someone will love it. And someone always comes up to me and go, I just love this piece. And I'm thinking in my head, I was just saying how much. I, I just, I had so much trouble with it and it was so difficult. But that person said, for me, it holds true. It, it holds true feelings. And that's, that's worth everything to me. I just have an amazing experience when when anyone buys my art. Oh, look at this. I've been brought to tears uh, a lot of times. A lot of times. I mean, just can't even explain why I'm I'm like like I'll be bawling in a an art reception and it, like <laughs> some lady comes up to me, I'm buying your piece, let's set the parameters of the negotiation and I'm sitting there just Really, you know, I just, I don't know, you know, I, I, it's like, it's like coming out of me and I'm just like, I can't explain why that has that effect on me. It, it, it's all just overwhelming. It's like this overwhelming wave of feelings that you can't explain. I think art has uh, changed my life in so many ways. It's given me another way to express myself in a way that I didn't even think was possible. Really, you know, helps me express exactly who I am. There's nowhere to hide. I don't have to hide. You know, I don't have to hide my blackness. I don't have to hide my whiteness. I can just be who I am. It's exactly who I am and who I want to be. And that's, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing more important to me than that. Art is